episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official trailer for the newest attempt at an American-made grudge movie. Yeah. Just called The Grudge. Huh. Uh, it has a pretty nice cast attached to it, like uh, Betty Gilpin and uh, William Sadler. Um, hmm. Yeah. That's some cast. That's some cast. No. Those two people you named. Sorry. I thought I could get it off the top of my head. And John Cho, pretty much. Okay. And for those who have never seen the Grudge films, or the original Japanese one, or the Sarah Michelle Gellar one, or the um, Am Amber Tamblyn one, okay, basically, it's a haunted house. It's basically a haunted house movie. It's a very unique take on a haunted oh, yeah, house movie. One that's typical, pretty much, they move into this home and things like that happen. Yeah, so like the original Japanese film, very well known, pretty much very iconic. All oh, their Japanese the films Mich are very, very iconic. <laughs> in a way, who has. they're all right. So uh, then we got the Sir Michelle Geller one, which was, oh, I guess it was fine. It wasn't as good as the original. Mixed, it received some mixed stuff. And then I heard the sequel's not good. Yeah, yeah, the sequel just, just, bleh, this was flat. Line. Yeah. So basically, yeah, the premise is just a haunted house, but like. Very haunted house. What it is is that they want. It feels like they wanted to do this, but they, it's like since now film has evolved into what they can get away with nowadays. Yeah. It's like let's push it with this one as well. Yeah, even one of the writers attached to this has worked on did uh, help write the uh, reboot of uh, Pet Cemetery. Okay, so yeah, let's dive right into this and see what we're getting ourselves into uh, for the official trailer for the Crutch. So here we go. Hello, it's Peter Spencer. I'm here about selling the house. Is anyone home? Hello? I'm, sh I'm sure you just need it. Some Drano. I you know, right? Let's get some Drano. This was a hug. Yeah. Give me a kiss. This is Detective Muldoon. This is Peter Spencer. Something happened to me at 44 Rayburn Drive. Someone was murdered at that house. Why did we never go into that place? Something never fell right. Looks like we got another one. Do you think that the body we found is related? Mm. Okay. I went to the house. Hello? Police department! Maybe we should start by employing them. They followed me home. Mommy? What's going on? What's wrong? We need to leave. Right now. Oh, hell no. Wait, what's up? I have your kid now. I stay in the light. Damn, they are literally pushing it with this one. Oh, I heard about this. Yeah, it's the poster. Yeah, that's it's what the it poster. Is. poster, yeah. They pushing it with this one. Okay, so I forgot to mention another thing. The guy who wrote, co-write this and direct this, do you remember the trailer we saw not too long ago called Piercing? The one where a guy goes to the hotel, he meets this freaky prostitute, and then it's the prostitute who gets really... It's from that guy. This is the same guy. You can almost tell. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, one of the big notable differences here is, unlike the Sarah Michelle Gellar version, which had her going to Japan, this yeah. one is... In the States. In the States, pretty much. That's the biggest notable difference, pretty much. It's in the States. Instead of keeping it to where it's like, okay, if you do an American, why don't you just do it in America? You know, instead of trying to do a copy and paste type of thing. You know? Yeah. And, yeah, it does look, I don't know, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't. It doesn't. It looks like they are trying to push it a little further. And unlike the original Sarah Michelle Geller attempt, it feels like they're actually... I feel like yeah, there is more the, effort into this. In the, it, there's more effort into this, trying to give it more of a story, more of a scare factor to it, pretty yeah. much. To try to really 
dive deep into what's really going on here. Yeah. They really need Drano. They really need some Drano. Yeah. Yeah, there's some good, nice scare shots when the kid, like, goes into the darkness and the thing pops comes out. out. It's just, it's just I, I, did, I did love that shot. Yeah, the shot where it, it, the hand comes onto his hair like that. I think they used that sim a similar shot like that for the Sarah Michelle Geller version. Yeah, but it, it was like it one. was diff it was a bit different, but it was it a was similar different. Shot. But this yeah. one pretty much looks like they're doing a fucking better job at it. You're literally, you're literally like, this is hand coming off his fucking head, you know, type of thing. Yeah, and I'm curious to see where to go in this one compared to where the original one went. Um, I believe like Sir Michelle Giller by the end of it like wound up in the hospital, and then for no reason whatsoever she dies at the beginning of this. <laughs> Spoiler, sorry, she she did in the sequel. She did. She died. She got on it. But no. I, I may give this a chance, you know, it's... Maybe. You know, I feel like people... I feel like there's been a recent... Even though it's a, a recent resurgence of bringing back iconic, like, horror figures back into the limelight again. But doing it in the proper way, pretty much. Yeah, like, we got that... Ho the hollow The, um... The Danny McBride Halloween film. The actual, yeah, the, the legit sequel for it. And then they're working on uh, one more. The Pet Cemetery, the reboot, got... The remake, or whatever you want to call it, got great reviews. I've heard some good things about it. And like, and the thing is that it is like it is like this generation now pretty much it's like now they could get away with a lot of stuff but it's like it's it's like now we have it's like people are trying to understand going yeah you could have a good scary horror film but it's like mm -hmm. we have to have a good story to back it pretty much something that that'll really have people going oh my god that was awesome yeah. you know the story is fantastic and that's what they're working on you know they're trying to help improve the story try to give it more of a yeah. leeway and that's what they're doing. Yeah, but yeah, I think for the most part there has been a good not only that but like a like a good quality horror like run going right now. Yeah. You know, you know, still a lot of you know, still a lot of misses, but definitely a lot more hits than we usually got. We normally get pretty much. It's like now that's why I said they're they're doing a great job at the, at it nowadays with giving us a good style of story, but also good you know good you know jump moments. Yeah, I mean, I'm curious to see where they go overall. So yeah, but, yeah, but uh, you know. Uh, for my what we've seen so far, I think it looks I think it looks decent at the very least. Yeah, same here. So other than that, if you need a channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And I feel like it's just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about freaky shit in your bathtub. Hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this trailer overall. Um, are you still a fan of the original pretty much Japanese version uh, of The Grudge? Um, or you, did, did you did you actually enjoy the Sarah, uh, Sarah Michelle, uh, Michelle Gellar version pretty much instead of the second one? <laughs> you know, how'd you enjoy it? But what do you guys think of this one compared to all those? You know, this is pretty much up on that level of the original Japanese or is still the Japanese version still a top favorite for yeah. you? Um, let us know in the comments below. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall, but most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very grudge-filled episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.